Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Ellie Greenwood before the 2014 The Rut 50K. Ellie, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. There's a lot going on here at The Rut. There is a uh, high elevation, really technical course, lots of steep climbs. Yeah. What's got you most excited? <laughs> um, I'm not sure right now, to be honest. Um, like I've scoped out a little bit of the course. Mm -hmm. um, I seem to keep taking the wrong turn and ending up going the wrong way. But, you know, you get the vague feel of the area that's the most important thing those flags every 20 yards are awfully confusing i know but i didn't want to do the whole course right so you start trying to like, oh. shortcut bits and then you're I'm like anyway so uh no i'm excited for all of it like i went up to uh the high point up to lone peak yesterday and that's absolutely beautiful um pretty technical pretty high altitude which i kind of expected um but uh yeah no so i'm just excited to uh to get out there and put the whole course together as it were what part scares you the most um, definitely. I mean, it's the same as speed goat. Like once you get up, it's like high and it's like steep, then I mean, that's just, it's hard, right? I'm coming from sea level. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had a few days here, but it's never going to make that much difference. So I don't know whether that's going to be the most challenging or in all honesty, the more in theory runnable bits lower down, but it is at altitude still. And so whether, it, you know, that's where I really need to be running and that could be challenging because of the altitude. So. Yeah. Um, it's fun. There's a, a very, very strong women's field with yourself included and one with a dynamic or like a, a diverse skill set. You're kind of excited. To, you are definitely the fastest on the of the favorites in terms of like the flatter terrain or the, the less technical terrain so you excited to like have a dynamic race with those ladies yeah no definitely um i mean i think i'm more the runner yeah. out of all them yeah. like pure kind of runner yeah and i like to get a good pace going if you can <laughs> so there's definitely some terrain where i'll be able to do that um i'm anticipating that i will probably you know on the uphills like I, i'm not i've got to be realistic like with um Cassie and Emily and Anna like they're just better at higher altitude and going uphill mm -hmm. right so um, but whether well I hope you know I can then make up some ground on the downhills the flatter sections that kind of stuff so it'll be, it'll be interesting right? I have mm -hmm. no idea how it will pan out so how do you handle the the technical downhill you think you're that's that's okay like okay. I'm, I'm not like technical terrain doesn't bother me okay. too much it's more uh it's more long climbs or, or steeper climbs okay. that are not my forte technical stuff like i don't really have uh, like an issue with and, okay. and that's okay so technical downhill i mean it's okay like kind of i saw uh the two mics and anna on when i was coming downhill yesterday and they were kind of laughing at me so they might have a different thing to say but i think i'm all right on that okay step, so. so it's not it's not a, a big weakness of yours no no i don't think so no and in all honesty it seems like like that's the middle third of the race mm -hmm. where there's like the real technical rocky terrain so in a sense well i've got that final third that hopefully i can you know use that as well right like it's not like it finishes on terrain that i'm going to be struggling on i hope yeah so you know that you're gonna like try to gap the field early or i mean you're just going to run your own race? Oh, I'm just going to run my own race and yeah. do my own thing. Like, I think it's the only thing I can do. I'm not, like, super confident on this kind of course. So to go out and, like, head-to-head -head try and race people who I feel are this is a little more suited to, I don't think would be the smartest move. So yeah. I will just run the best race that I can run. So what brings you to then to a course like this? Because you obviously excel at something on the road like Comrades or even trails like Western States. What? Why the rut in here in Montana? It's fun to try something different. Um, you know, and it's good to do the, like, to try a sky running race, right? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I would necessarily, from the outset, go all the way to Europe to do a sky running race, because mm -hmm. that's a long way to go to try something a little bit different. Um, but you get to get run in beautiful places like this, and that's part of what it's about, is getting to go to places like this. And, uh, yeah, and to try something that's mm -hmm. outside of a comfort zone and to mix it up. Because if you don't try this sort of stuff, then you'll never get any better at it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you ran super fast at uh, the Squamish 50K, coming down to a kick for second place. Sorry you got out kicked. Uh, yeah. But uh, how's your running gone since then? Have you got a good training block? It's in? gone good. Yeah, yeah. Like Squamish 50, I, like... I mean, I ran hard for the last few kilometers and I ran like 
steadily hard all day but I didn't like kill myself you know I was just like this is a good way to get 50k in and mm -hmm. have good fun there was lots of people I knew there so that was nice um but yeah I didn't kill myself so I did definitely like you know like even the week after that I got right back into training and yeah all in all it has gone okay nice so you're ready to go I am feeling ready good to go. yeah all right well best of luck out there Ellie thank you so much So a bonus question for you, Ellie. Yes? I just came back from the Tour de Giant. Yeah. Where a lot of people were talking about how much you might enjoy such a race. You want to try different challenges. Can we maybe expect to see you there? Well, when you put it on Facebook, I still think you're being sarcastic. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, so I am ridiculously impressed. Um, you were following my friend, good friend Jackie from Vancouver, who right now is in 12th position and we're all cheering for you, Jackie. Um, she came ninth last year and it was about a day into it last year when I was following it online, I suddenly grasped the magnitude of what she was doing and obviously following Megan and all the other runners this year. Um, the whole sleep deprivation thing. It, it, that's like I don't know whether that appeals like I love that kind of scenery but my goodness um, maybe one day maybe one day all yeah. right yeah thanks Elliot.